I was prepared that we might not have anything today, but I also said I think the market's going to gap down today. I was absolutely right. Rallying was yesterday, gap down today, get out of the longs yesterday, gap down today. I mean, I have been absolutely perfect, perfect on my read of everything. So, and I know that everybody made money in Apple yesterday, but I decided to hold it. Well, that was a great, great decision. And I know some of you were in the Apple calls. You got to be patient with longs. I know it's a pain in the butt, but that's the story, Morning Glory. So we're going to watch BA today simply because this is one of my top shorts. We can flip to CCL because we have the market that we have today. We can watch these things. They may or may not set up. There's a prop trading lecture at 1030 Eastern time today. Um, and so you can stay for that if you would like. Well, maybe we should go to CCL first. <laughs> wow, does this market look lower today? I mean, lower, lower by the end of this week, like I said. And remember, the number's out tomorrow. All right, here we go, BA. So let's do, let's wait till 99. Let's do 99. Stop's gotta be over 185. Let's do 99 by 185.30. I know it's big, but it'll be worth it. 99 by 185.30, and it's 182.99. Jackie is in love with this AAL for some reason every day. We haven't played this for a while. I can look at it. BA is going to go, so I kind of like want to, this is taking forever here to get on. Whatever. All right, we're going to do 99, but it's going to be a big stop. 99 by 30, and it's 182.99, just so you know, not 183.99. In fact, let's just put an order. Let's just put it. Just put an order to fill you at one eighty two ninety nine, so you don't miss it. Just put it right there. Here, here, let's see if we're gonna get it, and then we'll put the stop in. And this is going to. If you want to do this, you can do this right here and put the stop at thirty five. You can put it tight. Actually, no, put it at fifty five. If you want to do this, do it. I'm gonna focus on Boeing. Um, I'm going to focus on this. Oh, maybe we should do both. Screw it. Let's do both. Boeing didn't hit yet, so let's do this just in case. 55 is a stop. You can short this right here. 1705, wherever you can hit 55 is a stop before this rolls over. It's going to break the low first. And you can still have the order out for Boeing to hit through. It didn't hit yet. So just in case this doesn't hit, but I think it's going to, you could do the CCL. Here, here we go. Stopping this is 55. Oh, that's good. I didn't hesitate any longer. Here, here. Do, 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 $16.50, We're going to get it down right away. Here we go. Yee! Here, here. It's going to hit. Get the stop right in. Get the stop right in here. It hit. It hit, it hit, it hit. Get the stop in. Boeing. 
right, now we're in two things, we gotta wait. Now let me just determine the target. Yeah, it's the same thing I said the other day, 176. 176 and change. Um, so again, you wanna do it, you could do it right here. You could do it right here, you don't have to wait. Just do it. You don't have to wait, it's gonna break 183. You can, you can do it if you want here. You don't have to wait for it to break 183. This is good enough. Here, go, here, just did it, here. All right, so does everybody know they, where they have the stops? Uh, I don't wanna be a pig on this one here. All right, here we go. So you could have hit it just about 60 seconds ago, 30 seconds ago, or you could have waited for this to trigger. It did trigger. Either way, this is good enough. Um, this has the biggest target. That's why I've been wanting to get this and watch it. And obviously I've called the puts in this and they're looking really good today. Um, huge potential here in this, which I cannot wait to see what happens. All right, let's get organized with this. Again, 1650. Market's lower. Market is lower. Um, is there any data today? Let me quickly check. Forgot to do that this morning. What's today, the 24th? Ten thirty, we have crude. That's it. Here we go! Yay! 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 Da 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 da! Woo! What a great morning! Yay! Plan of action is get a move down here in CCL. Get out and let BA ride, ride and ride and ride him. But I have a webinar today at noon. There's a guy coming to talk here at 1030. If you decide to hold this, could take a little bit longer than this morning, just so you know. Here we go, we're getting this one due. I don't know, maybe we'll get this down at 1620-ish here yet this morning. Really nice move in Apple yesterday, but that was that was it. I mean, that was boom, it. Oh, I didn't look at this. This kept up this morning. That's funny. I thought yesterday was a great exit on this. I said 2800 dream target on Amazon. <laughs> it really got there. That's insane. But I thought yesterday was a great exit. And if anybody's still in this, don't hedge your bets. Don't hedge them. Great calls this week. All right, what are we doing? You could have got out of a little bit in there if you felt like it, if you felt so inclined. You could have almost just quickly scalped out of everything if you wanted. We do have to watch today's 9.37. What did I say, the number was at 10 or 10.30? Yeah, did, what did I just say? 10 or 10.30? I think, I think I said 10. I think the number was a 10. God, I'm so upset. I have to go back to the glasses place, and I am not looking forward to going back to that area of the city. God help me. Okay, so we're double checking the stop. 185.30, that is perfect. This is backing up slightly, came down, touched. Not a problem with this. Not gonna go anywhere higher. 
feel perfectly fine with holding all of these things here. But the number, I think, is a 10. Let me just double check that. No, 1030 it is. Shoot. Well, that's a long way away. And I don't think there's anything out tonight. The next big night is Thursday night. Very tricky here. Let's go over it. Let's review it. Market's lower for now. It's going to be volatile. It's going to trade in that range. We don't know how wide the range is going to be, but it's going to be a range for sure, which I knew. And that was one of the reasons I had 100% conviction we weren't going to go anywhere yesterday. And remember, I talked about it. In a normal environment, we would have. We gapped up yesterday. We had no follow through. The previous day, we gapped down. We had no follow through. But the bottom line is, we gapped down today. Now, I didn't call any new trades here today. I almost could. You, I know it's hard when you're in stuff and you gotta hold it, but by golly, you have to know what you're doing in this market. I mean, if you didn't hold this when it pittered out last week, you missed a humongo move. So, I mean, just, you know, and actually yesterday when I called a short, Somebody emailed me in the options letter, why are you calling it? And then look, this is through the strike this morning. I mean, you almost have to just close your eyes and take the trades right now, except for sizing yourself. You almost have to just trust my instinct, trust that I know what I'm doing, trust that I understand the system that I'm using, trust in me. Because the reality is that a lot of people don't understand the way I'm making some of these calls, and yet they are all working. But they're not all working the second that we take them, or the second that I call them. So that's what a volatile market is. Otherwise, you'd make money the second you take it, and you wouldn't think it was difficult. Here we go. We are making money the second we take this, though. Here we go. 1650. Wow. And this option looks great, too. All right, let's go to this guy here. Perfect, held, held the high. Gave it a lot of room. This is gonna take a while. This isn't gonna go easily. Remember the crazies. Remember the crazy dude that went long this. He's not gonna give up on it easily. And here we go. All right, let's see if we can get this through 1650. Let's see where it goes and then we'll get out of this and we'll hold Boeing and we'll be fine for the day. Kind of wish we'd taken in more here and in some kind of ad, but it really didn't give an ad. So it's just, the you know, whatever. We could short the market. It sort of is tempting here, but I don't want to get into too much stuff here this morning. But we almost could. We almost could short the spy. Doesn't it look tempting? Here we go. We just broke 50. CCL. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Time of the day is 9.42. You could be out of this. You could be out of this right here. Let's see if we can hold it just a baby, baby amount more. But I don't know, that might've been the morning. Did anyone just get out of that? Let's double check our stop in this. Cause I really wanna hold through this. Let's give it even more room. And we made money in CCL. Let's give it 55. It didn't get up to 30, but let's just put it at 185.55. 185.55, Boeing. We're giving even more wiggle room. Did anyone get out of this? Anyone at all? We're going to give this one more drop down. It did break 16.50. We're going to try to get it down under 40. And this I decided to give slightly more room. And look, it is holding 185. But 185.55, that's it though for this. And then that's it. I'm not doing anything else today no matter what. I'm not going to go back into this if we get stopped in this because we made money in the CCL. 
So let's try to hold the CCL down a little bit more. Let's maximize this. Like, let's suck every penny out of this that we can. I don't think Bowen's going to get stopped, but in case it would, I don't think this is going to get stopped, then let's just suck every penny we can out of CCL. So I didn't look why this was up today, but you, I mean, this is, this trade is over. Boom. And really, I thought it was over yesterday, but you know, you definitely have to be out of this. It went to the dream target, no piggy targets. Market isn't gonna go anywhere higher without its favorites. And this is, this is just nothing that I would ever go long. And actually I did not call any new trades in here today because I'm trying to, I'm trying to be extremely selective. Less is more in this environment and the trades are working, so. Less is more as far as number of trades. We're just gonna look for the quality. This is such a bearish look to it now though, this Boeing. Look at that. We have, you know what, I'm consider. I have to think about maybe doing some of these out till next week because we're not in anything for next week. Like we got to get this. This, we have to get this. I'll have to look at that here today when we're done. Like, we need to get this. I do not want to miss this. This is going to, like, we're going to get up one morning, and this is going to be down. This could be down 20 points overnight. Like, we have to get this. I don't want to miss this when it goes. i got to look at the cost of some of those things and see how far out we should take them. And don't forget, it's July 4th holiday. But we have to get that. The next, pay the next big payday is coming in Boeing overnight. And it is like, it's almost like you just can't wait to get out of bed and see if it's today. Could be tomorrow. Could be Friday. Could be next week. We got to get it. Here we are. CCO. Who got out? Did anyone get out of this at all? And everyone is saying boom or bust. Piggy. And I wasn't a pig and apple. I just had conviction. It would go. And then once it lifted, it was like, woo, it did what I wanted it to do. It did that. I, I talked about the flurry and, and it was, and I think everybody here in the room was out of it, but me, but it did that flurry. It flurried. Like once it, I was, we were waiting, you were waiting, you were waiting. And then it went poo. And that's how longs are. You just got to wait for the flurry. And when you see it, you know it. And you just know when you see it. This, I think we're going to get some kind of nice push, yes. Under the previous low here in the 15 minute, which was 43. This isn't backing up at all, and no one in the world is going to buy this. You know, I live right near here, the dock. I can see the cruise ships come in, and they were so fun to watch. I've taken a bazillion, I've taken thousands of pictures of the cruise ships coming in where I live over the number of years I've lived here. It's so sad. There was no cruise ships for months since March. The Navy ship, I had the pictures, but there's for months and I don't know if they'll be back at all this year it's so sad and now there's talk that Broadway won't come back at all this year I have to read that article god is that sad no shows over the Christmas holidays here we go CCL under the low here yes da, 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 da. yeah so sad I mean it's just I mean I don't know what these people are thinking that you know here being everything here I'm gonna look up some of these here da, 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 da. Here, I'm gonna look this Boeing right now. Stay put. And I'm, I'm talking about for a later period of time. Gosh, can you believe it? I think I'm gonna take some time off the first week of July because we're in stuff and then what would that be? July 2nd. It's July 2nd next week. Well, let me just figure out here. These aren't bad. These really aren't terrible expensive. Okay, CCL. I'm out of it. I'm taking it out. I'm done. I don't want to hold it any longer. Plan of action was to book money in that and let Boeing ride. You could hold it if you want. You could hold it if you want to. 
I like 16, 25, 16, 20, 16. I just want to book some money here. I just want to book some money in something. So Boeing looks great. Boeing's the big one. CCL, you could be out, you could still be in it. And I'm talking about the day trade. Here, it's still going. It's very important to book money. Okay, we are going to do this here. It's the same thing with the options. So focus on the ones. Here, CCL's still going. Focus on like, focus on the ones that are moving. Like yesterday we focused on the longs. Today you're focusing on the shorts. Do you follow what I'm saying? Like focus on like, just chunk it, chunk it, chunk it. Here, CCL. All right, let's do this guy here. Here, 1625 was the next target. It's hitting into it. CCL. I don't think you should hold both of these. That's just my, you know. Now, this has got to get through the low. 182.65. I'm going to look at something else in the spy. So just hang loose, peeps. We could have shorted the SPY today, but we shorted Boeing. That was fine. We shorted the CCL. Is anyone still in it? What a great read of that in this market. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm so good at what I do. I, I just like surprise myself at how good I am. I mean, like I, I was so good this week that I told you exactly what was gonna happen, exactly when it would happen, which sometimes I say this is gonna happen, but I can't tell you the exact day or second. I can tell, like I said, Apple's gonna go to 360 in the next two weeks, I said last week, which it did. It went yesterday. But like yesterday, I knew exactly what would happen. And today I know exactly what was gonna happen. So I just sent out two options trades here. We're gonna do these ones, and then I'm going to also see if there's anything else we can do. What else can we do? Is there anything else that we could do? Is anyone still in the CCL? Give me everything you like. Let's look at everything right now. See if there's anything else that we could do. Day trades, options, anything at all that we could short. Because that's where you want to be. Let's look at them all. Nice morning. Yesterday was a nice day. A little bit long, but it worked. 